What's good, Fizz fam? So today is the day that Mia has been working towards for such a long time. Today is gonna be Mia's driving test. <laughs> I've just been trying not to think about it this morning because if I let myself think about it then I'm gonna go crazy in like the anticipation and yes I'm just not thinking about it stop acting nervous mom because it doesn't help I feel like right. mom's nervous for me because obviously she's never actually done her driving test no. so she can't actually drive so I feel like yeah. it kind of seems more of a big deal to you well I'm really excited for Mia and I feel nervous for her so we're actually standing in front of our kitchen window looking out to see when her driving instructor is yeah. going to come he's going to be here any minute now and Mia you've said that you've got a driving lesson before the driving test to warm up well it's you? because where the driving test is is quite far away as well so we've got to get there yeah, and me also is learning to drive and having a driving test in London. So I feel like it's even like a bigger deal for you in a way because it's really busy in London. People are really impatient. Like people are like not chill. People when... will honk at me like if I stall or something. Then people honk even though they can see that it's an L play. But my driving instructor said that's why they honk. Ah, <laughs> which doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Like, it doesn't help. It's not helpful. Right, so have you had your breakfast? Yep. Have you got all of your paperwork you know with what? you? Yeah, I've gotten my driving license, my theory test. Have you drank enough water? Yeah, I've drank Have you been water. to the you toilet? You know what I haven't done though? I haven't eaten a banana. Go up, that brain fuel. Go no, on. No, everyone says that before a driving test, it's like a thing you have to eat a banana. Oh, and then they I've also never heard of that. tell you something else as yeah, well. Yeah, you guys told me that I should have my hair tied up so they can see that I'm definitely looking in all my mirrors. And yeah. said, when I'm looking in my mirrors, I actually move my head. Um, yeah, you guys have given me so many tips. Yeah, thank you for that, FizzFam. I didn't know about that, so that's really good. Also, FizzFam, I feel like we should tell you something else. Mia, yesterday, was really ill in bed. Yeah, it, it was, she was being sick. It was not good. I don't know whether she actually was day. ill or it was her nerves. I don't know. I literally only ate one banana yesterday. I was that sick that I couldn't eat. So this morning I ate a really big breakfast because then when I woke up, I actually was hungry. Um, but yeah, I was not feeling well yesterday and I don't know what it was because the day before I felt fine and then this morning I've woken up and feel fine. So, so you feel better now, yeah. yeah. But I don't think that made you feel very good, did it, yesterday? No, I was so stressed. Did you have a driving lesson yesterday? I did. I had a driving lesson yesterday, and then we, we got to where the test centre was, and then we started following some other cars that were, like, actually having their driving test to, like, check out the route. And then I pulled over, and um, then I was meant to carry on driving, and then I was like to my instructor, I really don't feel good. And then he was like, do you want me to drive home? Oh. And then I think as soon so as you got home, yeah. And then she said as soon as you got home, she quickly ran to the toilet and was sick. I'm, I'm sorry to, to tell you this, but I just feel like it's really, really crucial and important for today, just to let you know that Mia has not been feeling very good. I feel like. I said to her, I feel like she was sick yesterday because she's like really nervous for today. So FizzFam, I know what you're thinking as well. We all, we all, this is coming from the FizzFam as well, Mia. We wish you all the best for today. You can do it. You can definitely, definitely do it. Just focus yeah. on it. Just go into that computer mode where you just, you're like computer. Like, yeah. let, let your emotions, like you don't have any emotions right now. Just be yeah. very logical. That's what everyone said. So many people have told me that they start their driving test, they feel like they failed it in the first five minutes, and then they actually haven't. So I'm just not gonna like worry. Don't about let that little voice in your head start. I'm just gonna drive as good as I can and just relax. Yeah, I feel like if she starts having a little voice in her head saying, "Oh, you're so rubbish at this. You failed. Blah blah blah." Don't. Because with driving, it's don't not do that. About not making mistakes, it's how you handle them, and if you're able to handle them, it, that makes you a safe driver. Yeah, and don't, if you feel like you have failed, don't like quit and then give up. Keep going, because you never know. Yeah. Okay, yeah, keep going, Mia. You yeah. can do this. You can definitely, definitely do this. Like, talk as if you have passed already. Mm -hmm. You yeah. have passed. I know I can do it, I'm gonna do it. My theory test, I really didn't study all that much for it. And uh, I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do my best for it and I'm gonna pass it. And before the theory test, I got like emails about it telling me like what the success rate was and it was quite like low the amount of people that actually pass it and I know some people like really struggle with that and have to take it loads of time so I'm gonna 
have that same mentality with the practical test and um, yeah, I'm gonna pass it. High five for passing already. You're just literally going in a Stop. car, driving around. No, because it's basically it adds, or it kind of almost adds more pressure though. Better? Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah. Okay, right, I'm gonna look out the window again just to check. He's not here yet, Mia. He's not here, right? Okay, any minute now, and then you're gonna be, you're gonna be going. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Good luck. Bye. <laughs> you can do this, be brave. Yeah. You can do it. Bye. Bye bye mum. Have fun. I will. I feel so nervous. Like, <laughs> I can't believe it. I just can't believe today she's having a drive on test. I feel so nervous for her. And like, yeah, I didn't want to like talk about it um, too much in front of her to put her off. But yesterday she was in such a bad way. Like I was really, really worried about how she was even going to do today, but she has packed up a lot. So now we're probably, I think she said she's going to be having her driving lesson for a while and then her driving test later on. So we might not be seeing her for like several hours. So this is going to be the most agonizing, like nervous several hours I've ever had in my life. And that sounds dramatic, but I feel super nervous for her. She hasn't pulled away yet. Uh, anyway, Fizz fam, so. Good luck to Mia, come on, she can do this. I have just thought of the most amazing idea, Koa. I thought, and I'm gonna tell you as well, Fizz fam, we should go and get Mia some presents. Should yeah. we get her some surprises? So when she comes back and she tells us her news, whether it's good or bad, she has a little surprise. So it'll cheer her up if she fails, and it will celebrate her success if she passes, Koa. What do you think of that? Is that a good idea? Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to like say she's going to fail, but just in case, that'll be good. Like, because there are two outcomes of today. She's going to pass or she's going to fail. And I feel like some surprises will just make her feel really, really nice, won't it, Koa? No matter yeah. what the outcome is. Yeah? So should we go and pick some pretty nice things for her? Because I, I, I definitely feel like we should include some chocolate in this as well, shouldn't we? Because Mia loves her chocolate, doesn't she, Koa? What do you think? Is that a good idea? Uh -huh. Yeah? Let's go then, shall we? I've got my little handsome boy today, Fizz fan, because Koa doesn't Mom. go to nursery five days a week. Mom. Karma does now. But Koa only goes three days, don't you? Mum, can yeah? I put me presents in Mia's bedroom in, in Mia's wardrobe bedroom? In her wardrobe bedroom, okay. I don't know what that means, but we should put wardrobe. some presents on her bed for her, shouldn't we? And we need to make sure that we're back home for her in time as well. And also Fizz Farm, if you're wondering where Sienna and Darren are, they have gone to the dentist this morning, so they should be back in time before Mia comes back as well. So let's, that can be our little mission, can't it, Koa? Get back in time before Mia and with some presents. Does that sound good? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Hello, Mia. Hi. You all right? Tell me. Tell, come tell us. Do you want to come us. upstairs? Come on. Come on. <laughs> okay, okay. What are you to the living room? We're just hanging around okay. in the We're hanging around in the living room. Are you right? <laughs> Do you feel sick? No, I don't feel sick. I'm fine. I just... <laughs> what? You're making me feel so tense. No, I'm sorry. It's... Are you right? What is it? You. Yeah? I got three serious faults. What? Oh. <gasps> what? Oh. Yeah, so I... I... Capital F failed. Oh. Aww. What were oh. the faults? Well, the thing is, I thought I failed for something else. Yeah. Which happened before the things which afterwards he told me were the fails. Because basically, it was like a really little road. And then I realised later on that it wasn't my fault, but I thought I'd fa failed because he had to press the brake. What, the, what, the, 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 what the, 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 examiner, the examiner, uh, examiner, um, had to press the brake and usually they say that that's a fault, but it wasn't really my fault because the guy didn't indicate that he was turning right. Mm -hmm. So that actually didn't class as a serious fault. Um, but yeah, it was other things. So there was Gosh. one where it was Amber and I thought I should have gone through because I thought like if sometimes if it's amber if you're close to it you're still meant to carry on going um, but I should have stopped and then um, yeah I guess that is a what are the other ones let me check the email oh no I got 
can't yeah. believe it. There was one point where I'm at a junction and I'm about to turn left and then I start rolling back a little bit and I didn't press the brake quick enough. Oh. But I feel like that one I kind of did feel like I had it under control but he put it as a serious fault. And I then... would have thought that would be a serious fault. Oh, well there's more. Because there was a car behind me. Yeah. There's oh there's yeah, more. the big one. This was the one which I'm really annoyed at myself for. Because the other two I felt like weren't really <laughs> like this one I'm just embarrassed about, okay? okay? So tell us. So it was a national speed limit road. Mm -hmm. So I should have been going 60. Completely clear, straight. Guess what speed I was going? 70? 30! I should have been going at least 40. Oh my oh. gosh. But I just, I find it so oh. scary changing, even into third gear, I find it scary, but changing into fourth gear terrifies me. Oh. So, come here. Yeah. Come I kind of wanted to laugh, but also cry, and oh, it here. was quite stressful. Oh. It's okay. Don't worry, we've had good practice for next time, haven't you? Mm. Oh, I don't know if I want next, next time. time. No, there is going to be next Come time. Come on, but if you get automatic next time, then you won't be scared of like changing gear. Yeah, because I guess speeding up, pedal. all you have to do is to slow down oh. is brake, but it's the fact that when you have to slow down, you have to change the gears down. Oh, I don't, don't like worry, it. Mia. I mean, you've had good practice. Like, don't you agree, Fizz Fair? Now she's had this experience, she knows how she can improve and she can learn from it. And now also you've had a test experience, you're not going to feel so nervous for a test another time. Is that right? Come it's here. Just, it's just that you have to wait so long for another test. Like, it Aww. literally took me ages to get this test. Oh. Yeah. Sienna? Yeah? We've got something that can make you feel better. Yeah. I'll go get it. Sienna, can you get them carefully? Sure. Yeah, <laughs> Dad's going to be so like, what, why? Because I've actually had 30 hours of lesson, but really spread out, that's oh, the thing. Worry. Whereas Dad said he only had like 18 hours of driving. You haven't got the curse from me, have you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but at least I, I tried to do a test. Yeah. <laughs> Darren Ew. is taking... With three, oh. three Darren's things. taking cover for a nap right now and he's getting the car charged. So he's not going to be back till like after three, Mia. So, oh, come on. We got something for you, Mia. Uh oh, better not say oh. congratulations for <laughs> passing. Well, no, guess what? I strategically bought you gifts to cheer you up or to congratulate Aww. you. Ah, good idea. Ooh. Careful. Okay. Careful with that. Come and show some for you. Oh, they're beautiful. I have not actually seen these. They're gorgeous. Yeah, they're congrats nice. Congrats for passing. No, they're congrats for trying. Yeah, yeah? I mean, that's Look how nice, nice they are, this You your best. Oh. And yeah. also you have probably learnt a lot. Yeah. Mia. <laughs> By the way, Fizz Fam, I'm, I'm really sorry, Mia and Fizz Fam. I forgot Mia's chocolate. I'm sorry I forgot your chocolate. I didn't get you any. Sorry. I'm sorry. I know you need that it's right now, okay. don't you? Aww. <laughs> I feel like you're laughing and crying at the same time, literally. Aw, thank you. Smell it. Do you know what that is? Are you even excited about it? Body wash, yeah. Doesn't it smell good? See, that's that stuff Kesha. that smells mm, nice. That's I think lovely. you're so upset you're numb, aren't you? You're like, oh, you're like thank wow, you. Awesome. <laughs> Does that smell good? Oh, look. Oh. <laughs> I thought something fruity would make you feel good. Yeah. <laughs> Brazilian Crush Perfume Mist. Aww. You spray it on your hair and clothes. Thank you, Mom. It's all right. Well, well, let's just be it for the best and you'll just get automatic. Yeah. Also, because I was using those apps, basically what happened was obviously I put multiple test centers. So I originally had a test booked for a couple day time from now, but then I forgot to turn off the app. So then it turned, changed me to a sooner date, but it changed me to a test center, which is Barnet, which is where I just did it. But the thing about Barnet is there's so many country lanes, it's really fast. Like there's loads of 60 rows. Whereas the test which I had was, which I had before this one, which was a few days from now, was at 
um, a place where it only goes like 20 and 30 roads. And so my driving instructor did just tell me like, for my next test, make sure I get it at the right test centre and not somewhere which has but country So you wanted to actually be able to do any test? Because like, if you're yeah. not ready to drive, you're not ready. If you can't drive yeah. in a fast lane, me, I'm a bit worried about you going on the road. Yeah, well... Like, don't try and like... Yeah. But if she drives in London loads, then like, she'll get used to driving. I know, but where, like, yeah, in, in central London, it's only because I went really far out of London. Why it was... Oh, smell yeah. that, Sienna. Smell that. That'll cheer you up, Mia. It's for your body as well. She's sprayed it in the most weirdest way ever. I'm trying to get it to start. That's why. Start. Mm, mm, that good? smells lovely. Mm. Thank you. Yeah, man. that's all right. I'm sorry about the knees, Mia. Don't, so don't worry. Look at me. You're a brave, strong girl, and you did, went and did your test today, still, didn't you? You didn't pass. I mean, you were ill as well. That probably yeah. didn't help at all. Aren't you on your period as well? Yeah, exactly. Look, if you can do it today, you can do it any time. Yeah? Yeah. Oh. Do you want a cup of tea? Sorry, thanks. Do you want a cuddle? Another cuddle? Or do you just want to go to your room and slam the door? <laughs> no, I'm alright. Oh. <laughs> it's been a couple of hours and it's like synced. And now what's actually happened? And I just heard the dads come back and I'm just... I don't want to tell him because I don't want it to be real, guys. Dad! I can Hi. hear Dad! Hi, <laughs> Hello, driving girl! Well. Right, you're laughing. Is that a good laugh? Nervous laugh? Is that a, I'm going to prank Dad and like lie about the adult laugh? Yeah, or? yeah, it's a prank, isn't it, Mia? Is everything all right? I wish I could say it was a prank. It didn't go well. No, what happened? I got three serious faults. Oh, that's not <laughs> the outcome you wanted. Yeah. <laughs> no. But like, it, as I, I said to you last night, it's not that big a deal. You don't like need a driving license right this second. No. You've had a little practice. You didn't feel very well, so you don't need to be harsh on yourself. And then you just do it again in the future. And plus also, as you have quite rightly pointed out, why do you need to do a manual test when you're only ever going to drive an automatic and literally all new cars are automatics anyway. Manuals almost seem like they're like an old fashioned type of car. You die and breed. They are. Or, yeah. So you can or, do it in the future. Or you could be a passenger princess like me. No, I think still do it. <laughs> yeah. How, well, how do you feel about it? For next test. How did your show me tell me questions go? Ace them all like yeah. that oh, sort of thing five. I can do. It's just the. What happened? Did you crash into an ice cream van? No, I didn't crash anything. All it is. is you didn't crash. Just... <laughs> <laughs> we all know about me and crashing, don't we? <laughs> That's good progress. No, though. no. Everybody but a sapped Mia, attack Mia. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> no, we, we tickle you. We we'll tickle you. <laughs> well, I tell her, gently. No, nicely, gently. I, gently. No, that's right. Fizz fam, I've been attacking the babies a lot lately with like the tickle monster, so I think that's what they're trying to do. How do you feel then, Mia? Do you feel, you seem like you're fine. Obviously a little bit disappointed, but... You're not overly bothered. I'm putting words in your mouth because I'm trying to. How do you on feel, Mia? Out of ten. I mean, you didn't just, feel I well feel anyway, like, did you? I just well, feel. You like don't feel this well, is a still, stupid. do you? I don't know. Uh, like, right. Put it this yeah, way: Mom's Who can speak Spanish out of the whole mom. family? Because who Mom's actually like persevered? Dead. And learn Spanish when all the rest of us just went, yeah, it's not really that. When the rest of us are like, hola. Yeah. It's a bit like that thing, like if someone says, oh, I'd love to be able to play the piano. If they really yeah. wanted to play yeah. the piano, they'd prioritise it. Yeah. Whatever you yeah. prioritise in life, you'll yeah. do, won't you? Right, at the end of the day, Mia, it's like what Dad said, it's not a big deal. Your life's yeah. not over just because you failed your I know, driving test. I know, I just felt like it was something I wanted right. to do. Yeah. And I felt like I did dedicate to it. I did do a lot of hours. So I just feel kind of silly that I didn't pass it. But imagine if there was some sort of test for your Spanish when you were learning Spanish 
and it was like it just so happened to be at a time when you felt really unwell as well like it'd just be really rubbish timing and you wouldn't think oh I'm rubbish at Spanish as a result you just say the timing was off I know that I'm getting better and better at Spanish so it's the next day how are you feeling Mia? it's really like kicked in that I that's apparently what I, I all I can do now, I can't drive in a car. Are you disappointed oh, you can. or? You I am can. disappointed with myself because I was really determined. Don't but... be with yourself though, because like if you were unwell, you didn't get any yeah. say in that. I think that I think True. when you've been throwing I'm up. Actually and... saying that if you don't go to bed on time, if I Yeah, okay, so I'm going to bed on time. Okay. I literally was going to bed at like half eight nine. Wow. For leading up to it. Wow, okay. Because I didn't want to be tired and I really wanted to have my brain sharp. But you did feel really ill, and this fan Mia said to me, she was saying yesterday how she doesn't think she's actually cut out for driving, like how I feel. I thought about it more, and I think I was like, I can drive, I just need more practice. And I think it's because there's such a long wait for the driving test that I kind of like really spread out my lessons. So even though I technically had a lot of hours driving, it felt like I hadn't. Mm, um, yeah. And so I think, like, I knew when I was doing the test that I didn't quite feel comfortable driving, yeah. like, without someone else being in the car. And that's obviously how you're meant to feel. Like, you're meant to drive as if there's no one else in the car. And so, yeah, I think I just wasn't ready. But, like, it wasn't like I could d really delay my test or anything because they're so hard to get. Yeah, and I wouldn't worry about it. It's just it a, it's a temporary yeah, setback. Mindset. Like, out, out of the whole family, you and mum, are the ones who, when you set your minds to something, you do it. Like you've obviously learnt Spanish and you've learnt yeah. to knit and crochet and like rock climbing. Write a book on your yeah. own and build websites on your own. Mum obviously did all the fitness comps and marathons, etc. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go back to it. Like I am gonna learn to drive, Good. but just. What I think is frustrating though, guys, obviously as there's like a five, six month delay until you can get the test again, then it's like, well, how do you even space your lessons over that? that? It's like you have to take ages off again, or you, or you do like one a month to like tick it over and then cram them in you know, closer. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try and book a test and then I'm going to get lessons and I'm going to get all the lessons near the test because I think that was my mistake was spreading them out. How about crash course? Those crash course ones. Yeah, but I need to book the test first, obviously. Yeah, and then book and then, crash course. Yeah, and then, also, and then do yeah. something really intense. Why are they called crash course? I don't know. <laughs> like, really am, I, am I saying yeah, it right? Just, just shush, man. But also, you need to make sure that you feel really, really well. Maybe book your lesson around when it's um, your test, when it's not around your period as well. Mum, do you realise how hard it is to get a test? <laughs> I can't plan ahead when my period's going to be in six months as well. Like, it can change. I think I'm really proud that you're going to go and do it again and you're not going to accept that it's the family car. <laughs> but it's not true though because your sisters can drive and yeah. so can your mum. Yeah and all my grandmothers, no one of my grandmothers can't drive and I think I've inherited that. But No it's go. just an excuse mum. I find you just don't exactly. want Exactly. I That's what it is. You just don't. As I it's said yesterday, okay if someone wants to play the piano, they play the yeah. piano. They like. I don't want it's to It's okay if you don't want to learn, but just actually accept that's why. Yeah. <laughs> Mia said this morning though, she no, like, she's like, No, she's still in denial, Mia. That's why she ignored you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just. Yeah, I happy. said earlier to mum, I was like, Mum, you know how we kind of like have a joke that I'm a bit of a grandma because like I like knitting and like stuff like that. I was like to mum, I even drive like a grandma because I managed to drive really slowly. Like at a grand one of those drivers age. who goes thirty and a sixty and is like, oh. but, but, but still but. managed to be dangerous. <laughs> yeah. Can I just say something? Comment down below. Did you go the wrong way down a one-way street though? Because that is like old people driving as well. I didn't do that. that always happens where they're just coming towards you. And you're like, no, it, you've got to turn around because it's one way. Yeah. Also, Fizz fam, comment down below any tips for Mia for her future driving test, and then also comment down below if you are a passenger princess or not. I want to know if there's any passenger princesses out there, please. But yeah, your tips would be really greatly appreciated because the hair one was really, really good for me, wasn't it? I think Georgie needs some reassurance, is what but it is, isn't it? For... About being a passenger no, princess. No, I see it all on Instagram. <laughs> the algorithm knows. It shows me so many women my age whose husband drives them around and they're so happy about it. So I find driving so stressful. I just don't want to be on high alert. And like, you are literally in this metal box which could like kill you and other people. I'm so glad someone else has that responsibility and I can just sit there and relax. 
<laughs> Sorry, I had to offload. Thanks, Mum. <laughs> that really helps. <laughs> Nia did say yesterday that um, I don't know if we filmed this or I don't think we did, but she was like, also because I had the crash in the um, golf car, like she's still got that in her mind, like she has had a crash, a collision. Well, no, I was just saying that driving isn't that enjoyable. Because <laughs> it's like. It's just scary. And, <laughs> That's like, how I feel. If you're not like 100% concentrating, then you can crash. And I've already been through a crash and how horrible it is. So yeah. And I'm not going to let that stop me though. No, no, don't. For the Fizz fam, you need to, anyone who's out there who's got a goal and they feel like they're procrastinating or they feel too like scared of like going ahead and doing it, getting out of your comfort zone, Mia is going to show you that she's going to get out of her comfort zone and she's not going to give up on this. So whatever your goal is, it could be driving a test or it could be like going to the gym, whatever it is, learning a language, yeah. Mia is not gonna give up. So I'm now I'm hold you accountable, to. okay? Don't be like me. Go and do it. I'm going Yeah, to. high five. Yeah. You can do it. <laughs> you can do it. Right, see you in the next video, guys. Bye. Bye.